Today we're taking a look at the Chaos Concealment Guardian Holster for the Smith & Wesson 327 PC. For more holster overviews, please subscribe, comment with any questions, and hit that like button. Our Guardian holster for the 327 PC has become one of our most popular holsters as of late for numerous reasons. First and foremost, this revolver for me, and it is empty, is one of my favorite carry guns for numerous reasons. So I'll quickly go over the specs on this revolver. So it is a performance center revolver from Smith & Wesson. It doesn't come with these grips. These are grips are from I gotta double check who the makes them, but they are on the stock 629 or 627 PC revolver. I picked them up at a gun show. I just don't recall who makes them. I'll have to look that up and I'll link it on the bottom. But the reason, as you already saw, that I like this revolver is it holds eight shots of 357 Magnum. It's made of their scandium material. It has a titanium alloy cylinder and the total weight of this revolver is only 22.6 ounces. So as far as weight for an end frame revolver, this thing has everybody beat. Now I know some people are thinking, how are you gonna shoot 357 Magnum out of such a light revolver? Well, for the purpose of self-defense, if I'm shooting a 357 Magnum, as long as I'm practicing with it, shooting it on occasion, shooting my 38 Special out of it, I'm probably going to be fine with all the adrenaline going through my body shooting a 357 Magnum. So that kind of covers that as people say, oh, how would you shoot uh, such a light gun, such a heavy load? That's what I tend to say to them. So the overall length is seven inches on this gun. The barrel length is just two inches. Now I know people who want to comment, feel free. You're going to lose some velocity at this size barrel. However, I keep this on my person. I know that if I'm going to be using this, it's going to be within a close uh, proximity of, of the person perhaps attacking me or my family. So two inches for me uh, is good enough. I'm having a that's what she said moment in my head, but I imagine it would be a more of a that's what he said. So that's just a quick overview of this revolver. Like I said, I know that I saw a lot of these, so there are tons of people out there searching for this particular revolver. And that is why I made the purchase and why I carry this on most days. It is Sunday today, so we have an occasion to do this video as well. It is Snubby Sunday. And this is as snubby as it gets. So we'll go on to the holster. Now I just went over why I bought that gun, why I carry this gun. And when I first bought it, I made some holsters that were fully enclosed. I made some holsters with Kydex that was a little bit thicker on the sides. I even went as far as using a leather holster because I just wanted to carry the, the pistol. As I went through the different holsters that I was manufacturing and making, I just couldn't find anything that was comfortable. Now I would draw the gun, reholster it, which was not too much of an issue because the sights, as you see on this gun, are built into the frame. When I carry a revolver that has sights that are adjustable, they tend to snag onto clothing. That tends to happen just in general. So I would build a high guard on my holsters. Now, building a holster with a high guard, uh, I didn't necessarily have issues with it rubbing against the kydex, but it would sometimes get onto my belt. Just a lot of different things that I would have happen. So as I built holsters, I eventually came into using this clip with adjustable height. The reason why I did a Guardian version of this is because I wanted it to be low profile. As I showed in the video earlier, you can already see that this cylinder is really thick. It does hold eight rounds. So that's a lot of uh, meat to have extra sitting in your pants. And so I try to minimize it as much as possible. So you can see the holster we built it doesn't really add too much girth to the gun itself. So our holster is made of 0.08 Kydex. All of them come standard with our grip hook. They all come standard with our claw. Now the reason why we put this claw on there if you know this pistol, or if you don't, and you like to carry grips that are full size, you know that those grips tend to stick out. Sometimes you might carry them with rubberized grips, and those tend to stick on your clothing. 
So with a grip hook, which I'll go over in a different video, you'll know that this will put pressure onto your belt. And as it's putting pressure onto your belt, it'll bring that grip back into your body. So that's the purpose of the claw. Now with the boot grip like this, I don't necessarily have an issue with it poking out of my pants. I usually run it without this, but it does come with it when you order it online. You can choose to take it off. It's very simple to take off. I'll show you that grip hook as it is not being on the holster. This is the grip hook that it comes with. Now this hook is ambidextrous, however the holster is not. So if you order a holster for this, it's either right-handed or it's left-handed. But just note that if you order this accessory by itself for one of our other holsters, you can wear it left-handed or right-handed. Simply remove that screw, take this attachment off, put it on the other side, and reinstall. Now the grip hook it comes with is standard. You can run a different clip that we started offering made by Discrete Carry Concepts. I'll show that to you here in a second. So with this attachment on the holster, it'll allow you to wear it without a belt. Now I don't always recommend not wearing a belt. I always recommend a belt. But if you are wearing a holster and a gun this light without a belt, it is possible. So with the Discrete Carry Concept monoblock, you can clip that into your jeans onto your shorts and you won't have an issue of your holster coming out when you draw. So that is an option that we'll be adding to the site. By the time this video is out, it should be on the site. Come standard with the grip hook. You can always upgrade it to this attachment. Now all of our holsters in this style for the Guardian for the 327 PC, you have the option of whiskey brown, carbon fiber, and then you have the option of basket weave gray. Now the one you see here on the table is my personal one, so I did it in green, it's basket weave green. I can't always make them in this color, but those three options are what we have on the site. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, this is one of our most popular holsters as of late. I know that when I was searching for a holster, the only one that I found was leather. And for me, it was really thick and I didn't like carrying it. It had two points of connection on either side. It was really wide. So I decided to make my own holster for this gun. Now the first iterations of this holster, you'll see that the flutes are actually notched into the kydex. We recently had a mold made of the gun. So I sent this off to multi-molds. He made a mold of the gun, blocked out all the flutes on the cylinder. And so this is the result, a smooth, clean, well-defined holster. Now all of our holsters are trimmed to fit a wide variety of grips, whether it be VZ, the stock grips. We also do a medium to high guard on the rear. We try to cover as much of the hammer as we can. I have gotten feedback from folks that this holster digs into them, which I try to understand sometimes, but if you have your gun in there, you're not going to feel that point on the holster itself. So if you're walking around with just a holster and no gun, of course the kydex, you'll feel that poking into you. But if you carry it as what is intended with the gun in the holster, it's about as comfortable as it gets. Now I can wear this holster appendix or at three o'clock. Those are my preferences. However, you can wear it a little bit further back. You can adjust the cant slightly, but wearing this holster appendix or at three o'clock is optimal. Now we will have other models available. We currently make the 586 L Comp and the Model 19 Carry for this particular Guardian, but those are still handmade. So once we get a mold of them, we'll offer those, they'll be in stock, like this one is in stock all the time. This one does hold a lead time. If you're familiar with our company, we try not to have very long lead times for our Fusion 2.0. We try to keep them all in stock. However, since we had such high demand for this and folks were constantly emailing us when they're coming back in stock, we decided just to put it on the website and have a three to four week lead time. So just note that this holster does come with a lead time. If you have any questions on this holster, any recommendations on the holster, please leave us a comment. Don't forget to subscribe. I will be posting pictures throughout this video so that you can see how I wear it or how you can wear it. 
I'll post one of me while I was in Colorado here on the side so you can see how I wore it in uh, about four o'clock position. I will be doing a full overview and review of the 327 PC in the near future. Please subscribe to watch that video and videos like this. Comment, like, and thank you for watching.